Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. We're here at Clevedon. We're here to check out the very popular Clevedon Farmers Market. It's on every Sunday and it runs from 8 to 1. Yeah, it's quite a bit of a drive from Auckland Central. It's probably mm. a good 45-50 minutes drive, uh, but it is one of the more well-known markets here in Auckland. Yeah. It does a bit of like fresh produce. Uh, I think they do a few, few hot foods and things mm. like that as well. And general, just little stalls, uh, although not many of them from past experience. But yeah, it's been a while since we've been. Mm. It's, it's been, always a good yeah, fun, isn't it? I think it? you guys came on your own with your family a little while ago, yeah. but it's been uh, probably three or four years since I've been out here. So yeah, it's gonna be good to check it out. Uh, the weather again, I seem to be saying this a lot in our vlogs, but the weather again is <laughs> holding off at the moment, but it's looking dicey. So yeah, we're gonna head on in and check it out and hopefully sort of avoid the rain and see what we can find. So you may notice I have pink hair right now, which mummy did and I'm really excited about, as I've wanted to have pink hair for years. And it's now summer, so I can have it now, which I'm really excited about. Now, this isn't permanent hair dye. It's washable after 10 washes. But I'm just super happy that I got my pink hair dyed. It's quite busy this morning. It's actually a bit bigger than I remember. There's quite a few stalls. Um, some unusual ones in there as well. I was looking at a blueberry and cherry flavoured drink, which is, I haven't really seen before. So there are some quite unusual stuff to come out and check out. And lots of fresh produce. Obviously there's cherries this time of year, strawberries, that sort of thing. So a lot of the seasonal produce all to grab as well. Do you know? Do you think you're going to try a white bait critter? I don't know. I've been saying I should try one for a long time. I don't know if I've ever had one, so I'd possibly give it a go if you're going to share. <laughs> Mason, what did you get? For my brunch, I got a good old classic crepe. <laughs> what flavour? Lemon and sugar. Of course. <laughs> what did you get? Uh, we did get the white bait fritter. We're going to give it a go. I'm not usually that adventurous with food, but I've never tried it before, so it's meant to be really, really well, like, good tasting. Um, so yeah, we're going to give that a go. And then we've also got some sourdough bread just to take home with us as well for some lunches and things during the week. So we've also got ourselves a bat to have. Um, it's bacon, sort of egg and avocado, I think, in there, a bit of sauce. So yeah, they're normally quite nice as well. So we're gonna have that one as well while we're here. So we just went and picked up these very cute cookies. We got a Santa one and a little cat one. And she's so talented at making these. And they are so adorable. Okay, so I've just finished having the bat. It was very good. The sauces are what made it. They had two different types, which were really good. And it seems to be quite a busy stall, so it must be quite popular. But we're gonna head over, I think, and look at the getting some cherries, because um, they're sort of going for quite a good price. So we thought we'd maybe pick some up. And we'll just carry on wandering through the market, I think, now. Oh, that's right as well. When we were walking past before, we also saw that there is an author there and he's actually signing his book. So his book is the Bar Bar Smart Sheep and I think he's got a few other titles as well. But yeah, so that's pretty cool that you can um, get one of his books and actually get it signed by him. That's pretty amazing. But no, so as I said, we're going to go head over to the cherries now. Okay, so I was able to get the cherries. We got a good um, box full, about a kilo. They look delicious as well. 
Yeah, the farmer's market was really cool. Was. Um, as I say, it's been quite a few years since we've been, so it was nice to check it out again. It's a bit bigger than I thought. Lots and lots of yummy food to have. Yeah, there was heaps yeah. of yummy food. Mm. So if you come in, don't have breakfast before you come. Yeah. It's definitely worth picking <laughs> up while you're here. And as I say, lots of other like fresh produce to get, the cherries, there's all things like um, strawberries and that sort of stuff as well. But yeah, we didn't get our strawberries here. We're actually going to make our way off now and we're going to go to one of the pick your own strawberry places. Yes, that'll uh, be lots of fun, eh? Yeah, we haven't done that again. And sort of we try and do it annually, but we haven't done it obviously in a little while. So yeah, we're going to head there now and see if we can get some strawberries. So on the way from the farmer's market through to the strawberry picking, we decided to actually call by the Clevedon shops and just do a bit of a drive through to check it out while we're out this way. But yeah, we did pass by the, I think it's Acorns on Clevedon or in Clevedon um, shop, which we've heard a bit about. So we've decided to call in and have a bit of a look. It's uh, meant to be a homeware and sort of novelty like stuff like that that you can check out so yeah we're going to head in there wasn't a lot else happening in the sort of township itself um little market indoor market happening there as well and a few cafes and things but yeah this was the one that stood out to us so we'll head inside and have a look around Okay, so we've arrived at the strawberry picking place. So it looks like it's $20 for a kilo. Um, we're gonna go in and check out all the information in a second, but it looks like they have a castle slide and an area where you can sit out for picnics. And then there's a big giant, what medicine? A big giant strawberry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We haven't actually been to this one before. Um, the one we normally go to, you pay an actual admission charge and then you pay slightly less per kilo. So this one's slightly different, but mm. yeah, it's sort of on the way home. So it's going to be interesting to check it out. It looks like there's some good sort of areas to go out there and hunt through. So. And I yeah. think they also have some ice cream. Yeah, real fruit <laughs> ice cream. It's a sort of a Kiwi thing, isn't it? We've got really good ice cream in New Zealand. Yes, we do. And the real, we personally love the real fruit ice creams where they actually put like the proper strawberries in with normally like a vanilla or yeah. a French vanilla ice cream and mix them about. So, yeah, well, we might be up for one of them as well. I think so. <laughs> what do you think, Madison? Yeah, we definitely will. <laughs> okay, we're going to head on in and see what sort of um, info we need to know about picking the strawberries and go and check it all out. So we're about to head into the field. Um, we've been given little containers to put the strawberries in, which take about one kg of strawberries each. So about $20 worth to fill it up. Um, this one they ask that you don't eat the strawberries while you're picking. Uh, a lot of other places sort of allow it because they charge an entry fee. But yeah, obviously because there's no entry fee on this one, they just want to charge purely based on the strawberries that you pick. So yeah, we're going to head on in, have a look around and pick a few strawberries. You excited about picking some strawberries? Yes, I am. Yeah, you like doing this, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. How, where do you think we should go in the field? Um, maybe out a little bit further. Yeah, away from where people probably have already picked. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's head on over there. Strawberry. It looks like a good one, don't I? Yeah, he looks like a good one. It's a nice size, they're all quite good sizes, good colour. Hopefully they taste good as well. Okay, I think we've picked enough for now. We've been really enjoyed ourselves. It's quite nice. We're the only ones here today. I think that's also because the weather was saying it was meant to be thunder and lightning today. <laughs> but it's turned out to be such a beautiful day in the end. Have you had fun? Yes, I definitely have. Yeah. 
There weren't as many bees this time, was there? Yeah, there wasn't. <laughs> but no, we're going to go and head over to the shop and get our strawberries weighed, and then we're going to get an ice cream. <laughs> Okay, so we got our ice cream. Me and Madison went for the small, which is, I think it was $5, is that right? Yep, and I went for the regular, which was $7. Yeah, they taste really good. Yeah, and I think the strawberries, we end up getting about 800 grams, so slightly less than the kilo, and I think that probably came out to around about $17. But yeah, $33 for the three ice creams and, and the strawberries. The strawberries. So, yeah, not too bad. It's For an experience, it's um, quite nice to come and yeah. do. I think it's probably cheaper to buy the strawberries at the supermarket, but as I say, it is about the experience. It's fun to come strawberry pick and yeah, yeah it it's, that's why we tend to do it each year. I know, it's become a little bit of a tradition for us and we always really enjoy it, don't we? Yeah, we really do. Yeah. Oh, well, we're going to enjoy our ice creams before they completely mount. So I hope you like this video. And can you please like and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.